welcome back to another video we have the july scroller box if you do not know what scroller box is it is a monthly art subscription box the price has currently just gone up to £18.95 for the box itself free posting packaging in the uk additional costs outside of the uk you receive every single month a box of mysterious art supplies where you can create a piece of artwork. They give you a little word or phrase called the scroller challenge where you use the supplies within the bo box to make a piece of artwork. You also get a scroller zine that tells you a bit about the supplies, a little bit about a featured artist um, and a little bit about themes. And it also showcases artwork from people who get the box um, from two boxes prior to this one. So there's like, plenty of time to get your, your artwork featured in that magazine and um, there will also be a piece of artwork by the featured art artist which is always beautiful they always choose some really lovely ones and you get a little sweet and a vinyl sticker as well so let's get into this i've taken the tab off um it feels a good weight it's not too too light let's get that out of the way okay so this is the scroller zine but we'll flick through that in a second so we don't spoil any of the supplies this is the featured art work. Okay, so it's just some markings, some paint markings, I think. It looks like it could be watercolour or something like that. Um, it's very nice. It's very expressive. I like the colours that are used. Okay, so then this is the artist. So if you want to pause that and read that, I won't go through it right now. And there are some socials at the bottom here. But a beautiful abstract piece of artwork there let's put that there we have some acrylic paper okay so it's got a little bit of texture to it um i don't know if you can see that it's kind of like that faux canvasy acrylic paper texture and it feels fairly thick so that's nice so i wonder whether we are getting some acrylics maybe which is nice so let's open this and see what the supplies are Okay, interesting. Okay, get that out of the way. Put that to one side. All right. So here is our vinyl sticker. Again, another piece of abstract artwork. I think that's mimicking the front of this, is it? Very nice. Okay, let's flip this round and read it in order. Oh, also we have a Chupper Chups rolling cherry center shock interesting that sounds lovely i love a sour sweet okay so firstly on the list we have magic color acrylic inks so we have lunar white gamma green process yellow and process magenta these are expressive and versatile acrylic inks and a fantastic medium to get your creative juices flowing the inks are water-based and are intermixable so you can create a wide variety of hues with the colors you have the inks will dry quickly once applied to paper but will but whilst it is still wet, you can create a range of different blends and effects. Interesting. So acrylic inks. I have a few acrylic inks by Liquitex. I wonder if these are similar to those. They look very flowy. The colours are nice. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's take all of these out and have a little look. So I wonder what the... I wonder how we use these. How do we get this lid off? Press and turn. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so it's got it's just got the the fine nozzle similar to a, an alcohol ink. Okay, I'm interested to try those. Very, very interested. They are going to be very different. I'm excited. Okay, then next on the list we have major brushes, synthetic size six. So I think we've received major brushes before. This is just a round size six. Very nice. So that would be perfect for mixing those colours. And then we also have the Marabou Graphics Fine Liner set. And you get four pens in here. So let's have a look. Okay. I like the colour of the barrel. I think we've received Marabou markers before, I believe. Are they the ones that did the watercolour, uh, the water dissolvable crayons as well, I think? 
Okay, so we have a nice range of sizes. We've got a brush nib, a 0 0.2, a 0 0.4 and a 0 0.8. See what this brush nib's like. Okay, so it looks it looks to me like a felt brush nib. Interesting. Okay, so a very strange mix of <laughs> a very very strange mix of supplies. I'm really excited to try these acrylic inks. I think they're going to be very interesting. They've paired it with these fine liners, which I guess I'm assuming these are permanent once down bleed proof these pens are bleed proof making them ideal for illustration sketches and outlines of multimedia projects but i'm interesting to know because they are water-based ink whether they will run is this something that we're where they're envisaging we put over the inks so these are things that we need to test will these run underneath the inks and will they go over the inks because if it's acrylic acrylic is it going to have a sheen to it i don't know um so I'm interested, I'm interested to see the featured artwork. I don't know whether, I mean, I, they've obviously used the inks, but they've not really used fine liners. So I'm, I'm confused as to why we've paired those two t things together. But I'm interested to see what they feel like. I'm interested to see what this acrylic paper's like. This texture looks very nice. I wonder if we can get some dry brushing on there. I'm not sure, but it, it's interesting. It's a, just an interesting mix. I don't know whether you think the same. Please let me know down in the comments below. And then our scroller challenge is in bloom. So, I mean, that could be a, a, a very wide range of ideas and concepts under that. But I guess I guess the only thing to do is test out these supplies. So I'm going to test these out on acrylic paper. And in the meantime, I will read the scroller zine, um, the scroller tips and tricks. Um, but let's have a quick flick through now. So there are all the supplies. Um this is a little bit more about the scroll artist so it looks like she's very much a an abstract artist doing floral-esque type work these are the scroller tips and things to try so like i say i will read these as we are swatching the supplies this is the scroller gallery for the flowing figures box which was like i mentioned two boxes two month boxes ago some beautiful figures on there i can see why all of these have been picked this one is beautiful. Oh, this one's lovely. Her own reality again. She's always been featured. Very lovely. Very, very nice. And then a little bit of background information about inks, etc. So I'm excited to read all of that. And I will read these things to try as we swatch these on the acrylic paper. Alrighty then, let's get on to these scroller tips, things to try. To get things started, give your ink bottles a good shake. The pigment inside your acrylic inks can settle to the bottom of the pots if they are stored for a long period of time, so be sure to shake them thoroughly before use to ensure they are vibrant and ready for your creative needs. If you are looking for full saturation and vibrancy, you can apply your acrylic inks directly to your paper. One way to do this is by using the eyedropper that comes with the bottle. This can create some wonderfully expressive marks and textures, or you can use a paintbrush, which is great for more fine detailed and controlled work. Dropping and splattering effects are great ways of creating expressive marking on, on your artwork. Try using your eyedropper at different heights and angles to get an array of different patterns. When the ink is still wet on your page, you can also lift and tilt your page to get interesting runs of colour across your page as the pigment shifts. This can be a massive technique, so be sure to protect any surface of I or item of clothing that you don't want ink inkified. <laughs> Experiment by using wet on wet techniques. Start by wetting your page, not too much. Then you can try the following. Dry dropping your ink into the wet page with a brush. This will create some bleeds and blooms of colour. Dot on bleach over wet ink to disperse the pigment. You can also add salt to your wet ink to, in, on the page for a mottled effect. Create some visual interest by using both ends of the paintbrush. The opposite end of the paintbrush can be dipped into the ink and used as a drawing tool. You can also try using supplies that can be found at home to create some fun, unique textures. Supplies like sponges, elastic bands, cotton wool balls, cotton buds, kitchen roll, and anything else you can find around your house that you don't mind getting a little messy. Simply drop some pigment onto a palette or di directly onto your item and press onto your paper to create interesting patterns with your inks. Cutouts and masking tape can be used to block out areas you do not want particular colour to be. 
You can use scrap paper or material to create any shape or figure, figure you would like. Then roll a small strip of tape and apply it to the back of your shape before placing it on your paper. This will prevent it from moving whilst you apply colour to your page. Once you are happy with the colour application, make sure it is completely dry and you can then remove your cutouts to reveal the finished result. Switch it up. The Marabou markers all have different sized nibs so you can switch up your line weight and experiment with different mark making techniques. So overall, um, as you saw with my uh, swatching there, I did try the things that I was concerned about. So the running of the markers by putting the ink over the top. Um, now, it does say on this little card that they are, they are water-based ink, um, but they are bleed proof. However, I found, and I did leave them to dry for quite a while. I didn't do an unfair, you know, um, test, but I did, I did find that they ran quite a lot when I put the paint over them. So I don't think that's ideal. So the, the markers definitely needed to go over the top, which is fine. You know, you can work with that as long as you know. Um, I did find that the acrylic inks did leave a sheen so when you applied it quite thick you got that almost acrylic um, shininess to them so I don't know how well if you applied it thick the markers would go over that I didn't actually test that but I would imagine not the best it depends on the marker I guess um, but yeah I really enjoyed them they're very vibrant they're very very bright and bit more difficult to get that subtle colour like you would with a watercolour so um, you really had to water that down to actually get anything remotely like a watercolour. Um, I did a few tests, I did a, some tulips, I did a little um, open flat rose and I liked them but I thought I wanted a bit more structure and so I did sketch out a rose from a reference image from Pixabay and I started filling in my petals that I'd sketched as you can see here but I didn't I wasn't as patient as I thought I would be these dried incredibly fast don't get me wrong but I wasn't as patient as I wanted to be sometimes the colors would bleed I probably didn't leave as much white space as I wanted to um, and then because these are not watercolors once they've dried you cannot then blend them again so it was very much when I wanted to add the white over the top it was very stark so I found that quite difficult to work with um, but all in all they were very nice they were like I say very vibrant colors and annoyingly I couldn't get a deeper red that I wanted to to really deepen certain areas on this rose um, but they worked very well and I think I probably could have just managed the white space a little bit better um, but I re I'm really pleased with the piece I think it's um, it utilized the alcohol alcohol they're not alcohol the acrylic inks <laughs> very well now as you can probably see I didn't use the markers at all in my piece and I think I just wasn't brave enough I really wanted to go over and line over this but I didn't want it to ruin it um, maybe it's something I might try on a printout or something like that but I just wasn't brave enough and, and that's on me that's not on the supplies I think it would have worked quite well I didn't apply the ink very thick so I think the the markers would have gone over very well but um, yes it, it was a an experiment it's not something i would usually do i'm not the biggest painter of flowers especially in this type of watercolor style um but i've seen some lovely artwork if you just follow the hashtag scroller box once you've seen what the supplies are and you don't mind seeing what other people have done hashtag scroller challenge on instagram you see some beautiful artwork and i've seen some incredible stuff and unfortunately i'd already created this and created this video so i didn't have chance to kind of um, be inspired by that but it's probably for the best because otherwise I'd be heavily influenced <laughs> um, but there are some lovely artworks out there and I look forward to seeing more and more to come um, but yeah I enjoyed this box it was well worth its money I th I do think the choice of pairing these markers these fine liners with the uh, acrylic inks just was a little odd but maybe I've just not used them correctly um, like I said I've seen some lovely artwork that has used both and they've they've looked wonderful so um, you can't fault them for that um, but I'm excited to see what's to come with this new price increase I'm wondering what the supplies might look like whether we will have um, an increase in supply or quality I'm not sure or whether it will just remain the same um, but 
a squalor box has always been my favourite thing to get every month and it really does push me out of my comfort zone so I do highly recommend if you have the money to do so do um, subscribe and enjoy the fun and process so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I will look forward to your comments and what you thought of the box yourselves and I look forward to seeing you in the next video so thank you very much for watching goodbye <laughs>